Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Love for Intuitive Astrology. Today I will talk about the month of, yes, the last month of the year of 2022, December. So I'm going to talk about the sign of Aries. So this is for sun, moon and rising sign in Aries. And um, I'm going to explain a little bit what to expect uh, from the upcoming transits. And I also, as usual, uh, going to bring you some intuitive messages, okay? For the ones that are new, I'm an intuitive astrologer. My name is Michelle and I do monthly forecasts, different videos of healing, uh, astrology uh, and intuition. So yeah, let's start with the beginning of the month um, because we're we're starting the month off nicely, you know, we're going to have uh, planets in Sagittarius. We're starting off in Sagittarius season, which for you, Aries, is going to be in your ninth house. And ninth house is about philosophy. It's about traveling. So some of you are definitely going to take a trip or planning a trip. Um, we still have Mars retrograde in the third house. So in the sign of Gemini. So this is going to be, we're almost at the end, right? In January, we're going to have finally Mars stationing uh, direct. But it could be that in the month of December, you're kind of like revising the year. You're going to be looking at maybe old projects or maybe restudying something that you have looked at before. You're going to be like, okay, I've worked on this project or I, I did this course before. I'm just going to reread it or rewrite something, right? To, yeah, to get it more into alignment. Um, there could be some frustrations with your neighbors for some of you areas. So make sure to, to come in calm and to discuss what exactly is it that is bothering you and try to find a compromise if possible because i can honestly not know what is your exact situation right um so we have a, as well a full moon in the sign of gemini which will happen on the 8th of december at 16 degrees and one minute and um like i said this will be also in your third house in Gemini. So again, focus on studying, uh, maybe taking a trip. Maybe you're going back to a place where you've already been, a small trip, or even a trip that is further away. Maybe you want to revisit a place that you've already been to. We have uh, Jupiter, which now luckily is direct. Um, it's still in your 12th house, but if you are in Aries that... Uh, it's on the first degrees or your birthday is like um, on the first days of uh, Aries season, then you would have Jupiter close to your ascendant, which could bring you a lot of luck, right? Uh, a lot of optimism, a lot of happiness, but also a lot of self-indulgence, which comes with Jupiter expanding everything. <laughs> so... Um, for the others, you're going to have Jupiter still in your 12th house and it's in a conjunction with Neptune. I mean, it's not a very close conjunction, but it's definitely seeing its effects. So you're going to feel more intuitive than usual. You're going to be very open to different messages. Um, it's like a lot of wisdom is coming to you, especially at the beginning of the month areas with, you know, we have Venus and we have uh, the sun there in your ninth house, which really is expanding your wisdom. Like maybe you're gathering your past experiences, like putting them all together and really seeing what it is that you have learned up till now. So it's almost like you're, you're, putting your life together, what happened up till December, right? Because we're also starting closely to 2023 and I will make an overview of uh, that year. <laughs> the first upcoming time when I have that, I will make an overview because we have so many planetary changes that are super interesting areas. So that would be really 
yeah, really cool to do a video about that. Um, yeah, there is, at the beginning of the month, we have a square with Neptune, right? With Mercury and Venus and the Sun. So you might be a bit foggy. So the higher level is that you're going to have a lot of intuitive messages. But at the same time, some things might not truly be what they seem. Because Neptune can also confuse you, can also... Mm, it's like making you a bit cloudy, right? It's like, what is really going on? I'm not sure. So besides this full moon, we have a uh, new moon in Capricorn, which will be on the 23rd of December. Uh, this is right before Christmas. And, um, you know, around Christmas, right? I want to talk about Christmas as well, because... We're going to have Mercury conjuncting Pluto, right? So for you, Capricorn is in your 10th house. So it could be that some of you are actually working during Christmas or there might be some conflict with work. Like, can I get a day off, right? This could also be before, uh, right before Christmas on this new moon. Um, maybe you, you were speaking up for yourself about something and... It's actually working out for you and you're getting a better position or you're starting in the new year in a new position. But there will be some news about your work. Um, you know, I don't want to bring like negative news, but I have to tell you as I see it, right? So, um, yeah, some of you have to work during Christmas or you're getting some like work that, that needs to be done. Uh, it could also be because 10th house is also the public. So maybe you're having a Christmas dinner or you're going to be with your family and people are putting a lot of pressure on you. Like you are like you have to entertain everybody. It's like, oh, yeah, Aries is going to entertain uh, the table. It's going to entertain everybody around. And you're going to be like, <laughs> I don't want to have this responsibility, even though you are a very leading sign. Right. But when you're off, you want to be off sometimes and really enjoy and relax. However, you do carry like this optimistic side with you because uh, Jupiter just moved right back into the sign of Aries, your sign. So there will be, again, um, an uplifting feeling. And when Jupiter is in your sign, it's like following your path, following your guidance. Don't go against things, right? So there might be some, definitely some secrets coming out when it comes to work. Um, yeah, it's like maybe wrong promises could also have to do with money. So um, they told you you're going to get a raise because we do have um, like Venus is trining Uranus. So there is like an instability with money. So some of you are actually like freelancers or you work like commission based or you're working on something and there's been like a maybe a misunderstanding with money so uh but it does seem like it's gonna be something that you can work through areas so yeah um if that's not all if i say it correctly um on the is it the 28th yeah i think it's the 28th yeah 28th of December, we're going to have Mercury stationing uh, retrograde. So we're not just having Mars retrograde, but we also going to have uh, Mercury retrograde. So it's definitely like when we're, <laughs> we're starting off the year kind of slow, right? With Mars retrograde, Mercury retrograde. And in December, we're kind of building towards that, right? And in general, December is a month where you're kind of rounding things up like rounding the year up. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to close a lot of things down. You're going to settle new things for the new year. Uh, and especially career wise, maybe you're going to make an overview of, of money because for some reason you're not getting the exact stability that you would like to have with money. It's like maybe you're earning a lot, but it's like going out at the same time. Um, that's what Uranus does. It kind of creates this unstable situation like yes no yes no um but overall right i wish you such a happy christmas and 
I don't know, I had this really cute idea for you to, um, I have this like wishing candle. So I want you to focus on the things that you would like to have, or maybe you want to wish like something nice to people that don't have anyone to celebrate Christmas with, or people that are in need or hungry or something like this. And I want you to visualize in the candle, maybe a wish for yourself or a wish for the world. And I want you to visualize that so you can tune that into the candle. And I'm going to tune that with you. And we, it's like a little prayer maybe for people who need it. Any wishes for yourself, for others are welcome. And I'm wishing you blessings and love equally. Okay. Okay, if you got that in the candle, I'm gonna blow it off and send it into the universe, okay? Three, two, one. <laughs> little heart <laughs> all right so let me see if i can get you some last intuitive messages before i'm closing down this reading for december um, first of all i want to thank you <laughs> also for your likes uh, your subscribes your support um yeah thank you so much I really appreciate it, Arius. And um, I don't know for some of you, okay, this is very, um, very specific, but I know this is for someone who's watching. There is something with the grandmother, your grandmother, like someone you were very close to. It's like this person is almost like on the other side and you feel like it's almost like sometimes you smell their perfume and this means that they're close to you or like, it's like a radio switch. Someone who liked flowers. This is like someone who liked flowers or brought you flowers. Um, or, or your grandfather gave flowers to your grandma. And it's almost like for some of you areas, uh, you're going to have to decorate more your house with flowers. To, Because some of you... Um, it's almost like you haven't taken care of your house very well, like making it warm and beautiful. So it's time to really make your house a beautiful space to, to be in. So yeah, redecorate it or make it a bit warmer, light some candles sometimes, because I feel some of you have been very stressed, stressed with work. And maybe that's why you're taking a trip right at the beginning of December or in December, like taking a trip, but usually around Christmas time, it's kind of can still be kind of stressful, even though you're off a lot of obligations. So, uh, yeah, really try to meditate, get into alignment with yourself. Um, dance a little bit like dancing. Um, it's like some of you have like back pain. So I hear like sacral chakra needs to be open, like dancing. Um, creating art being creative is going to help you because sometimes it's almost like you're uh, going into your head and this is where you kind of lose overview and you forget like where am i going and it becomes a bit panicky so it's it's like go back into your body and uh celebrate yourself as well celebrate yourself because you've done super well so this is my message for you. If you like this channel, subscribe to it. So I know you want to see many more videos and uh, I really appreciate you. If you want to leave a comment below, how this resonates uh, with you and share with the community your love and support, that would be super appreciated. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye Arius. <laughs>